Hey beloved, Krista Pettiford here. Welcome back to my channel. Well, this week I'm talking about how to claim, reclaim your time by creating a daily routine. Let's get into this video. I hope you've been following this series. If you have not, I will link it. I'm gonna make a playlist. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, please thumbs up, and let me know in the comments um, if you like videos like this or what else you'd like me to teach on. I'd love to know what my viewers and subscribers would like me to talk about. And so this season, I feel like we really have to come back. Maybe you already have a morning routine, a daily routine that is working for you. Maybe you need to change it to make more time to sit at Jesus' feet and hear his word. Maybe you need to get up an hour earlier, 30 minutes earlier to sit with Jesus and start your day with him. I don't know. If you don't need this video, share it with somebody else. The thing I found is that I often have to reset my life at least once or twice a year, I have to look at things and do a reset. And so years ago, when I was a busy mom, I created something. I brought a book called Surrendered Balance, Daily Living for the Modern Christian Woman. But then the Lord um, led me to create a free download of Vogai for people who join my mailing list called, um, the. I used to call it uh, From Busy, From from busy to balanced <laughs> and because surrendered balance. And then I changed it to the choosing what matters 28 day lifestyle reset guide. It's really the same thing as taking you from a busy, distracted lifestyle to a, um, an unbusy, undistracted lifestyle. But the key is choosing what matters because Jesus said Mary chose the good portion. And so in today's video, I want to talk about um, creating a routine daily, weekly, and monthly. And I'll tell you what that means. And if you download my guide, uh, you will get to see how to create your own and even how to do a weekly, a weekly review and then a review at the end of the reset so that you can learn how to create this pattern because it's not just a one-time deal. Sometimes we need to go back and say, hey, I'm getting distracted. I'm pulled all over the place. Let me do a lifestyle. Let me do a routine check-in. Let me check on my routine and get rid of what is not profitable for me, what is not working for me, what is taking my time away from the things that matter to me, the things that are of eternal value. And let me create a routine that, um, makes me feel happy at the end of the day, makes me feel like I use my time wisely, that I'm getting further to my goals and advancing my goals and advancing the kingdom and the thing that God, the things that God has called me to do. So how to create this routine and how to reclaim your time by creating a daily routine. So we're going to talk about daily and then weekly and then monthly because there's some things that we need to do daily. There's some things that God wants us to do or that you may need to do weekly. And then there's some things that you might want to do monthly or put on your calendar to do in like a, a, um, a retreat, just a quiet retreat with the Lord, even if it's a day retreat where you go and take a day off of work or from home with your children and just sit with the Lord, even if it's not at some glamorous place, at the quietest place that lets you restore, refill, and sense God's presence and really tune in. Maybe that's a park or a beach or a quiet place. I don't know what that is, but those are the type of monthly routines that we can create and even quarterly. But for a daily routine, let's talk about first reclaiming our time. So you reclaim your time. Last week, we talked about distractions. Once you deal with your distractions, which I go into detail in the workbook about after you identify them, how to deal with them and get rid of them, then you have your time back. You reclaim your time by dealing with your distractions and making, identifying them and making a plan, a strategic plan, not to allow them to pull you away from the things that matter to you. So after you um, this the, your daily routine is your strategic plan to make sure that day your um, 
your distractions don't pull you away. You identify them. You know what pulls you away. I talked about in the last video that you then you um, you look at the things that God has called you to do, the things, the goals that you've set for yourself, and the things that distract you that pull you away every time you go to work on them, to think of them, to do that thing, to work on that goal, that project, that thing that brings you joy, something gets in the way. I'm not talking about your family and your children and your responsibilities. I'm talking about things that distract you. That friend who always calls in that moment, that family member who calls in that time and wants to talk, um, who needs advice. You can put them to the side. That urgent thing that always happens that TV show, that that um, social media, whatever it is, put those things to the side. That's how you take back your time. You redeem your time. You take it back from the enemy. You say, I'm going to reclaim. I have claimed it, but now someone else is saying something else or someone else is saying that is their time because that's what you're giving it to. Well, you reclaim it by saying, nope, these are the things that are on my um uh, to-do list or my routine. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, wake up at 5 a.m. so I can spend time with the Lord before I start my day, before the rest of the house gets up. I'm an empty nester, but even having to go to work, there are certain things that I need to wake up earlier for. So you do that. And what does that mean? Your daily routine actually starts the night before. I'm going to go to bed on time. I'm not going to stay up being distracted with social media, with conversations that can wait, with um, with TV shows or busying myself around the house. I'm going to create a... Um, a bad time because my time with God matters. It sets and shapes the rest of my day. I'm going to give him the first. When we give God the first, he blesses the whole lump, whether it's a day, a month, a year, whatever it is. Um, and so you give, you give God that you set your daily routine by starting your, the night before. And then you put in, do you want to wake up and exercise after you spend time with God? Do you want to eat healthy? What is it that you want to do for yourself? Caring for yourself so that you can care for other people. Putting yourself in a right place. Their self-care has been such a buzzword in the world and even in the church. But truly self-care is spending time with Jesus, hearing his word, and doing the other things that are really important to you. It's not so much about the pampering. If that's care, self-care for you, then go for it and I you know I look at me I got hair I got nails I make time for this but these are things that I also are in my routine but they're um they don't refill me <laughs> they just give me looking decent but if they refill you that's fine no no judgment but think about the things that bring eternal reward and make those at your priority list what's important what helps you care for your soul for your spirit, for your body, to keep you healthy. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So what do you need to do? And how do you fit? We get rid of your distractions. You reclaim that time that your distractions have taken from you to focus on the things that really matter to you. And then you set a daily routine to do those one or few things that are necessary. Jesus being the, the first. The Amplified Version of the book of Luke, which I've been reading out, where Jesus says one or a few things are necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion. Luke 1, Luke 10, uh, 38 through 42. What are the one or few things? Just one or few, no more than five, that you need to do every day. Maybe even your top three as your daily routine that are important to you. Mine is spending time with Jesus. That means hearing him, sitting at his feet, and that includes reading his word. Um, also getting in some form of exercise and then eating something green and healthy. And I would say also getting rest, uh, drinking water. But those are in those things for me that are really important to me. But on a weekly basis, connecting with my children because they're adults now. On a monthly basis, it's, you know, connecting with other people, making friends. What are priorities for your life? Connecting with friends, um, connecting with family. 
people and I'm just throwing some things out there um, but what what are your priorities what are your weekly priorities schedule them in and then you have to reclaim that time and don't let distractions the devil the world the flesh busyness get the best of you and take it back you take that time from you no you claim that time you make an appointment with yourself you make an appointment appointment with the lord to spend time with him to turn off the things whether it's work um, the worries and cares of this life, things can really be going on. But the thing that Jesus said is one thing is needed. One thing is very necessary. And Mary has chosen the good portion, which cannot be taken away from her. All this serving and busyness can be taken. At the end of the day, it's going to be what you did for Jesus that lasted. And so when we choose to make him first, he gives us what we need for each day. He really and truly does. I have tried to live both ways. Busy, 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 spending, you know, checking boxes in my in my devotional time with Jesus and spending time sitting at his feet, hearing his word, making that the priority of my daily routine. And it's something how everything else falls into place. Whether he does it without me knowing or he speaks to my heart and tells me what to do, what to handle, what to let go and directs my steps and just covers me. And so you want to create your routine for your week, the prioritizing the things that matter to you. If you are married, um, you know, that might include praying with your spouse on a daily, but also having your quiet time with the Lord as well. Um, if you, I mean, how, whatever those priorities, whatever the Lord is uh, showing you to do, if you don't know, ask him. I have my five clarifying questions for every season of life, which is also a free downloadable guide. I'll leave that link as well. If you don't know what God is calling you to lean into, ask him. There are five clarifying questions for every season of life that will give you clarity about what God wants you to give your time and attention to, what he's calling you to do. So then you can set your priorities and your daily routine by the things that God is calling you to do. And not in a religious, dutiful way. Because what I found is I was so busy about checking the boxes. And I'm just being honest. Um, in this new method that I found of having a routine because I was such a busy mom that it didn't give room for what if I need to be present for something else? So I pray that this blesses you. Um, again, you can download the 28-Day Lifestyle Reset Workbook. You can also download the five clarifying questions from every season of life. They will both be in the description. If this video has blessed you, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share it with someone that you know.